Yeah, hey everybody, Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are watching more AI Battles in Civ 6. We are entering the last stages of our second chance rounds, and we are almost to our uh, knockout rounds. So right now, let's roll through the score real quickly. So in first place, we have Robert the Bruce, and then quite a bit of distance between him and Gilgamesh in second, who is barely holding on to it over Shaka and then Yaverman. Now, uh, Yaverman is doing really well in the religious play. All he has is just a couple more cities over here, really. Uh, if we pop into the religion lens, you can see, oh my gosh, every time. Uh, you can see that he has quite a bit. He even has a couple of the Alexander cities already. So if he flipped one more Alexander city, he would actually have Alexander. And so then it really comes down to Samaria. The downside is we're not seeing a lot of, of his apostles anymore, number one. Number two, we don't really see these apostles popping out. And then number three, we can actually see that Samaria is starting to pop out some counter apostles. Uh, earlier in the game, uh, Samaria was popping out a lot of warrior monks with their faith. And so now I think we're starting to see them switch over to apostles which is probably not going to bode well for Khmer winning the religious victory uh anything else worth mentioning i don't think so uh let's look there culture culture uh, actually he's doing pretty decent um all things considering but he's still got a ways to go science still got a way to go now the question is is this going to be the last episode it's either going to be this one or the next one there's either one or two episodes left here uh did they actually save does that save? That does not save. You have to actually hit confirm. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's either going to be one or two episodes left here in our second chance group stages. And then from there, uh, a Macedon declared war on Kabul. All right. Well, <laughs> this was a long time coming. This was a long time coming. Kabul actually belonged to Macedon at one point and then uh, it got liberated by Samaria. Well, military. Yeah, see, there went all the skiism. So, uh, military, what is that looking like right now for uh, domination? England's at 1,300 troops. Then it's Robert the 1,000. Shaka at 1,000. Samaria is at uh, 713. And Alexander is a little bit far behind. Now, some people have mentioned, and I don't know if it's a true or not, that it would be impossible for someone to win a religious victory because they're not going to be able to flip me. Now, I don't think that matters. I honestly don't think that actually matters because you can see we don't show up here at all. Um, like Rome doesn't exist in the game. I would imagine they made the mod in such a way that you could still win a religious victory. But that is worth mentioning, so we don't know. Victoria ended up getting the Forbidden City and Yavrman got the Statue of Liberty. Congratulations, so. They actually said they changed the Statue of Liberty. I was watching the uh, Sweden. The Sweden? Sweden. Yeah, 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 the Sweden uh, live stream, and so they're changing in the Statue of Liberty, so it no longer gives uh, uh, two settlers, which kind of makes sense, because by the time you build the Statue of Liberty, there's not really anything left to settle for the most part. Like, not that I ever get to build it, because the AI always gets it in front of me, but anyways. Uh, people want to set up uh, capitals, sure, 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 or embassies, whatever. Uh, what was the other wonder? Terracotta Army got built by Victoria, so that's two wonders in a very short period of time. Does she have any chance? Man... Man, I would like to say yes, but still got a ways to go. Uh, we can see that the universities or the research labs are being popped out, which means it's not going to be long till we start seeing the rocket districts. Uh, now, it's funny, and I totally missed it in our last playthrough. India actually got nuked. It was uh, right after, and I wish I would have saved the game. I need to start saving the game at the end of it just so I can reload it. But, ooh, Big Ben. Uh, so, right at the end of the game, uh, it was the turn after... Uh, Nubia ended up nuking someone, and I imagine it was India, and we just totally missed it. So, England just declared war on Macedonia. Uh, she has, remember, the largest army, but she's going to have to actually land the army, so we'll see We'll see how it manages. Also, I do want to mention, someone mentioned uh, a comment saying, hey, maybe stop, like, not hitting up, like, not, like, talking crap about the AI, uh, like, some of the bad choices they make, because, you know, throughout history, people have made really, really bad choices, and I'm like, you know what, that's actually hilarious, and that's a really good point, you know, we could sit here and be like, England, what were you doing for so many turns just hanging out, but, like, I don't want to necessarily call any particular country, but I mean, there's been a lot of really bad decisions made throughout time with human players. And it does offer a little bit of like, uh, I think uniqueness to the game. And, and, and it definitely is cool that like the AI isn't necessarily always playing great. You know, it would be nice if we saw certain countries like Russia tend to play a little more worse at times so that they wouldn't necessarily always make it through. But you know, sure, sure, sure. Scotland declared war on Geneva. Where is Geneva? Oh, they're finally trying to take over Geneva. Interesting. Now, Scotland was pouring a lot into Geneva there for the longest time. Victoria actually has it. Okay. 
Uh, I imagine Geneva then is going to fall. I don't think I don't think there's any way that they hold on to it. Uh, Gilgamesh got Big Ben, so that should keep them into second place. Yeah, but not by a lot. Not by a lot. Uh, what is our war situation right now? Shaka is currently not at war with anyone. Samaria is at war with England, okay? Scotland's not at war with anyone. Everyone pretty much hates each other in this map. Yeah, this is one of those weird ones. Like, sometimes you get the games where everyone's super friendly. This is the game where everyone hates each other. Oh, and England actually just lost both of these. No, both of these flipped, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of those flipped to neutral. And England, with her massive forces, are um, all of a sudden facing quite a bit of danger here. Uh, I don't think she has uh, the largest army anymore. She does not. She's down to 831. She's still better than Alexander, and she's still better than Samaria. The funny thing is, like, Samaria's at 477, which is hilarious, because, like, it seems like her his entire force is right here, then. Now, what are the Apostles looking like? Okay, we got some skiism coming around. We got some skiism. Dude. <laughs> it's close. It is really close here. If he can flip Kabul, and if he could kill these guys, like, here, this is big. This is big. Now, Alexander's actually popping out Buddhists? So Alexander started getting his religion back. Ooh, all right, all right, religion. That's not religion. Yeah, he ended up getting Buddhism back. That's gonna make things interesting. Uh, so we do have quite a bit of skiism over here. And if the skiism can actually kill off the Shinto Apostle, uh, I'm gonna imagine you're gonna see some flipping. Kabul then definitely should become skiism. Yeah, that one would definitely flip over. What about here no but it'll be close it'll be close and then you can see there's a couple weak apostles over here too so there's a lot of potential here i really want to potentially see a religious victor i think it'd be fun now normally i root against Khmer because god that was the worst time i've ever played in the game <laughs> i was trying to play as Khmer. but that being said this would be rather fun there's your skiism there is a bunch of skiism right now uh it did not flip kabul and there goes Skiism again. More, oh, no, and then a Skiism died, and then goes, there goes the Shinto. Um, there's still enough Apostles here that they should be able to kill this guy. I would like to see this win. Zulu declared war on England. Okay. Uh, everyone's pretty much hating on England at this point. Uh, nothing's really flipping, though. I wonder if England ended up piecing out with the other guys. Robert the Bruce got an emergency. Congratulations, because uh, he took the thing. Uh, she's still at war with Alexander, but she pieced out Samaria. Uh, Robert the Bruce, did anyone take that war up? Shaka declared war on you. Were they, in were they allied? Scotland and England allied? No. No, they hate each other. Okay. Uh, honestly, at this point, the Apostle fighting is, like, more, um, uh, entertaining than anything else. I don't know what happened to all those Skiism Apostles. I think they either died or they ran away. So that doesn't seem too good. Nah, see, and this started flipping too. Ah, so close. So freaking close. Oh, I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it. I love how we're still in the industrial era, and he's probably going to pop up the spaceports here in just a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, AI. AI deity, man. So many bonuses. So many bonuses. So, uh, was Scotland at war? Who was Scotland at war with? Zulu, right? Oh, yeah, they're fighting over uh, Colin. Is it Colin? Now I'm worried about how you pronounce any Scottish city, because they all have, you know, really interesting names. Um, mostly because of Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Where, where's it at, by the way? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there you go. Spaceport. Industrial era spaceport. You know, just like normal. <laughs> I guess it's not that far off. Like, when did Russia? It was after World War II, right? When was the first space rocket? When? We're going to Google something. When was the first space rocket? Invented launched when was the face uh, October 1957 so industrial era um, So you're in modern era modern era is the infantry this would be more where the rockets Belong so technically and I mean yeah, okay. They are technically in the rocket era It's just the world is still in the industrial era, which is what I'm kind of calling out as kind of hilarious Also, I've never noticed this before I just saw this on the live stream, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Industrial era. So it just tells you what era you're in. Does it give you your points? I guess this goes up as the points go. I actually don't know how this works. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, I'll have to actually look at it in my single player games to see what that does. 
Although you guys can let me know as well. So anyways, uh, so Zulu, their strength is the fact that they should have a whole lot of cores and armies right now. Unfortunately, we're not really seeing it. They have armies, and I don't think anyone else can have armies at this point. Um, yeah, we're just seeing a bunch of cores here. Uh, unfortunately, they seem to be a bit far behind in tech. Mm, where are they at? Where are they at? Yeah, they're way down here still in the industrial era. So, uh, uh, wow, dang. Scotland and Gilgamesh are definitely way ahead of everyone. So they're going to be popping out the newest amounts of troops. Um, AT cores aren't going to be super, super useful, but still, a AT core crew, uh, core, AT crew core is going to be really hard to fight against. Really, really hard against with musket men. Now, Scotland, though, is sitting here with, uh, bombard, or catapults and swordsmen, which isn't necessarily going to help, but we shall see, we shall see. Uh, do we see any religious stuff happening? Yeah, there's another apostle over here, and there's an apostle there, but for the most part, it looks fairly neutral. How goes the rocket? Uh, five turns there. We are having prompts, right? We are getting gossip, right? Do we have gossips for the rockets? I thought so. I think so. We definitely left the nukes one on. Actually, I'll do that one so we can actually see when we get the nukes. I don't care about the delegations. Uh, the alliances maybe is worth it. I could have sworn we had one for... I don't care about the pillages. That's just weird. So, uh, Dark Age is us and Khmer, and then, well, we're not in the game. Uh, England, uh, Macedonia, Shaka, Normal Age, and then Scotland and Samaria are both Golden Ages, with Samaria being in Heroic Age. Yeah, Samaria. You can do it, buddy. Right? That is the Heroic Age? Yeah, that's Heroic. That's what I thought. So, is that going to flip any cities? That's a good question. No, it doesn't look like it. Seems like everyone at this point pretty much has loyalty under control. Although I say that, there's still one turn over here for or one city, the bad Tabara. Uh Tabira is still potentially flipping, but it's a slow flip, so. Alexander stabilized quite a bit. He was in a very bad spot there for the longest time, but he's stabilized for sure. Um I don't think he's gonna be able to make a play. He's a little over hundred points behind. And here's the thing, Gilgamesh started taking a larger lead now. So it definitely seems like it's gonna be Robert the Bruce and Gilgamesh. But once again, we have potential victory types so we'll see Gilgamesh got the big Ben yeah see here there's two wonders right there uh Robert the Bruce got Revalis yep 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 Victoria got Taj Mahal and so here's the thing Victoria's in last place and then first and second place got the wonders so who that affects is everyone who's actually competing for that number two spot and then what was this last wonder and Gilgamesh again yeah two for Gilgamesh two for actually three for Gilgamesh two for Scotland and then one for Victoria Scotland began construction of the Cristo Redentor. They're probably the first one, and they are shooting off the first rocket as well. So, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Kumasi is facing a siege. Kumasi, 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 Kumasi. That is over here. Yeah. So, this one, if I remember, isn't Kumasi... Wasn't that... No, this is a city-state, isn't it? Yeah, it's a city-state. So, it currently belongs to Zulu. And uh, Yaverman is trying to flip it. Oh, Yaverman's actually going to lose uh, his sound town down here. And you know why that one's flipping? Because Geneva got conquered. And I bet it's actually going to flip over to Scotland. Dang, dude. Scotland got, like... Like, they're putting a lot of pressure out there. Uh, and that's what's kind of funny about them. A, they're really big and scary. But then B, they're just starting to put, like, a lot of, like, forward pressure on these cities. And just being like, nah, this is our territory. <laughs> like, a little bit like China modern day right now. It's just like, nah, nah, we own this sea right now. And then everyone's like, okay, sorry. Uh, I don't see Khmer taking this. If they could take Kumasi, that would probably stabilize this. But I don't see that happening. Uh, unfortunately, we're still seeing a bunch of apostles, the Shinto apostles over here. Um, and I really, really, yeah, see, he's, he's pushing. He's pushing it. Dang it. Dang it, Yaverman, you were so close. Why? You had the chance. Ah, oh, that makes me so mad. 338. He's still making a lot more faith, so he could. Who got the cheaper apostles? Cheaper apostles. No one got the cheaper apostles? No one got the cheaper apostles. Really? Alright. Yeah, that would have been useful. That would have been a very useful one to have. Especially for Yaverman right now. Making more uh, faith, too. 
Uh, so he is getting a couple more apostles. It just it seems like it's gonna be really hard to flip, especially now with all these Samaria apostles running around. The only potential advantage would be is if all of a sudden the Buddhist apostles start fighting the Shinto apostles, and then Yavarman could come in and just clean up whatever was left. So the arsenal got built by Scotland. Yet another wonder for Scotland. That Crystal Redentor is in a very bad city though, so there's potential for someone to steal it. Yeah, actually Samaria is gonna steal it. Yeah. Yep. 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 Bunch of units being popped out up here with the Zulu, but I still think it's a little too little too late. And it definitely seems like we have our one and two. And I don't know that anyone else is going to be able to catch up. So this is the first of the rocket victories. Correct. Go to science. Yeah, this is the first. He's still quite a bit ahead of everyone else. Culture victory. We still got some time uh, before that happens. And yeah, same thing there. So there you go. First Earth satellite knocked out. Is anyone working on nukes? Not that we have seen. I don't see anyone... Uh, actually, ooh, our satellite over here, too, for Samaria. And they're building a second rocket site. Okay. They're also working on Zimbabwe. They're trying to catch up. They're trying to catch up the score. It would be important for them to catch up and score if Yavarman goes out with the Religious of Victory. As long as they can just hold off Yavarman, Samaria is going to be safe. <laughs> or as long as they can hold off... Basically, Shaka, Yavrum, and Alexander, and Victoria from going out with any other victory type. They're going to be safe. Which is kind of a unique way to play this game. And it would be kind of fun, like, to actually have this, like, from player standpoint, too. Where it's like, you're just basically trying to keep them from going out. You don't care that you're not going to win the game. That's fine. Just as long as you uh, uh, keep Yavrum from going out so you can get through on a score victory. Kind of, like, reminds me a little bit, like, on... Um, uh, like you're playing for a tie basically you know soccer I think in particular where you don't necessarily need to win the game you just need to make sure that your opponent doesn't win the game so there's a lot of fighting going over here Yavarman popped out a bunch of missionaries which are going to help a little bit but you know I still think apostles are the best way to win a religious victory especially 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 if you can get uh Yerevan Yerevan is just you know uh freaking godly uh, because you can choose whatever your Apostle promotion is, and there's, what, two Apostle promotions that are just way better than everything else, so. Uh, Christor Redentor got built by Gilgamesh, which is what we were expecting. Uh, Rockets, he's got four turns. Scotland has not started the second rocket yet, although, tech-wise, I was gonna say, they're both pretty much right there, so. They are getting all the late game techs. I kind of wish, and I don't know if it's possible to get this modded in, but it would be so amazing if we could actually see, and I don't know how you would do it, maybe like half color it. Like you give it like just a little bit of colors, like a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue to tell you that Gilgamesh and uh, Scotland have it, you know? That would be, it would be nice to see if we could actually see like, or maybe if we could pull up every individual Civ's tech tree, that would be it. Like, click on Scotland and we can see what text they have. Click on, you know, Gilgamesh and we can see what text they have. It would be nice from the standpoint of just knowing. And I think that would be helpful even in single player. Uh, it would be cheating, I think, definitely. But, you know, if you didn't really care about that and you just wanted to see what the AI was doing, it would be kind of nice to see. Uh, let's see. Lots of mechanized infantry coming out. We're getting really late in the game, so it's going to be a little unlikely to see too many wars from here on out. Just because of the warmongering negatives. That being said, everyone still hates each other. So this was this was a very unfriendly <laughs> game. Uh, like, is anyone even allies? Yeah, I should have paid closer attention. But was anyone even an ally? Like, the best we have is like some yellow, and then Scotland and uh, Yavarman are allies. That's it. Which is hilarious because that's really coming back to bite Yavarman at this point. But whatever, whatever. How is our religion? Still looking about the exact same. The Buddhism is spreading a little further, really. Oh, wait. Someone actually mentioned one, two. Aha! Yes! So the numbers actually do the different lenses. I did not know this before. So I can hit one for a quick religion view. That is good to know. And I, yeah, W does that. <laughs> w does not. See, so the problem is I put my fingers there and I want to use WASD. Anyways, uh, are you, wait, are you guys at war now? What? All right. They're back at war. Let's go. Go Gilgamesh. Conquer. Conquer and kill. Uh, this is going to be a very bad day, though, for uh, uh, Alexander. Most likely, we're going to see... Uh, we're going to see some conquering here. Because he's rolling around with artillery and mechanized infantry. And Alexander's sitting here with musket men. I just don't see how he's going to hold off. Unless... Unless he just misplays it really bad. We'll see. We'll see. 
So we're getting a lot of religion flipping over here, but once again, I think it's mostly... Yeah, it looks like it was mostly Buddhism. Yaverman's still trying to focus up over here, which is funny because there's only one town up there. I don't know. I don't know. I think you could be doing stuff a little bit better, Yaverman. But hey, hey, it's your life. You live it how you want. We won't judge you. So Gilgamesh is now ahead for the Rockets. Interesting. Gilgamesh is still behind, but that's usually what happens. I imagine Gilgamesh is making more science per turn too, right? Yeah, they're 335. He's making a little more science per turn. He has a couple more techs as well. Khmer and Zulu declared war on each other. Okay. So they're once again probably fighting over Kumasi. Um, Zulu is way behind in tech right now, so we're going to have to see if uh, 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 Yavarman can take advantage of this. He only has, what, three infantry and a bombard? Well, he's got another three infantry there. I think it's going to be a hard take. I think it's going to be a hard take because uh, everyone has steel at this point. Gilgamesh got the great Zimbabwe. Yavarman got Broadway. And Hermitage got finished by Victoria. Once again, man. Once again, the three, four, five. None of them are getting these wonders right now. And that is really what's just causing this huge gap in score, I think. 135. Eh, Shaka's at 120. But then, look, Yavarman at 45 and Alexander at 60. So it, that's a hundred point difference right there. So he would be at 938 or vice versa. Like if you, if you just switch this, so like, let's say he was at 45 and he was at 135. All of a sudden, uh, you're basically a hundred points up and you're a hundred points down. And now all of a sudden Yaverman's in second place kind of thing, you know? So those wonders really come into play. Now, the only reason Yaverman though is probably doing this well though is because religion's 84. Yeah, he's making a ton of religious points. You can see Gilgamesh is at 28. And then who had the other religion is Alexander, right? And he's at 22. So right now, Yaverman is getting a butt ton of points from that. Ooh. Did you're going to suicide? Ooh. Ooh. This guy's going to die, though, to this guy. So unfortunately, he's about to lose some more pressure. This is why you should almost exclusively go with Apostles. Because if the AI has Apostles, they're just going to um, um, wreck your missionaries. So yeah, they're winning skiism. And it's the same point. Like, I think maybe missionaries shouldn't. Like, if you lose a missionary, you shouldn't lose as many points. Or maybe missionaries just shouldn't lose points if you kill them. Apostles make sense. But, like, it's just... That's why missionaries are just worthless to build. Because if you fight an apostle, you're just going to die. You're going to get absolutely wrecked. And then you're going to lose just as many points. So, it's always a great day when all of a sudden you find apostles to go kill. Or rather, missionaries to go kill when you're trying to get a religious victory. And you can see, like, he's struggling now. Yeah. And he's just popping out these missionaries. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Come on, give me some apostles, dude. And what's with these gurus? Like, you have four gurus over here. Come on, get your gurus to the front line. And there goes more skiism. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, all these skiism drops, man. And his apostles are just healing right back up. It's not looking good for Yavarman at this point. Valetta declared war. Valetta declared war. Who owns Valetta? Where is Valetta? <laughs> the only city-state remaining right now. Actually kind of surprised he's still alive. Although he's at war with like half the world right now. And he's currently being conquered. Well, trying to be conquered. I, I don't see Shaka taking it, but there's potential there. Samaria got the second uh, rocket shot off. As did Robert the Bruce. So we're still neck and neck right now. Uh, we are at 100 turns. The question is, how long have we been going in this episode? We might just make this a... We're at 23 minutes. I might just make this a long one. Let's go seven. Ah, here's my problem. I think we're just going to keep going until we get to the end. And if it's a 50 minute episode, oh well. Last thing I want is a 25 minute episode and then the next min uh, the next episode to be like 10 minutes. Because that would just suck. Um, because we want to start the not rounds as their own. Like it's going to be its own like mini series inside the larger series. So because of that, I needed to start on a brand new episode. So we will just keep going. We'll just keep going. I don't think we're going to be done. It's probably going to be a 50 minute episode. Because right now you can see they're not even working on the X rockets. Uh, that being said, I mean, they pop it out. Here you go, 18. But they can pop it out usually in like five, six turns. So. And that's what ended up happening in our last couple games too. Is they just boom, 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 boom. Those last couple rockets just got, you know, really, really quickly. So you can see he's slowly going that way are still in the same order except Yaverman dropped a little bit uh, uh culture is a, a long way away and then religion's still in the same boat as well you can see 
he keeps spreading. He keeps using these missionaries. Um, but he's still losing cities. Like, he almost lost control now of Shaka. So, he's struggling. He is struggling. Uh, Scotland, have you started off your moon landing? Is that the next one, moon landing? I forget what the next one is. Is it moon landing? Hello, Shaka. Whoopsie, I turned that on. So, he did end up uh, grabbing Valletta. Well, there goes all our city-states. <laughs> Oy. Uh, it's all Mars. It's all Mars. It's the Mars reactor. The habitation. Why would you send a habitation before you send... A reactor. Like, let's just talk here re realistically. I would want to put... Probably my Mars reactor. Okay, it's just in orbit. You want to finish this so you can get your habitation there halfway quickly. And then I probably want the hydroponics next just to get the food for the habitation. Like, yeah. I think the last thing I would want to send is the habitation. That being said, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. And I probably send it off in the wrong order all the time. But it was just like, wait a second. <laughs> Why are you sending the habitation off super slow when you could do it other ways? Uh, so England has a hermitage, but unfortunately they don't have any great works in there. Yeah, it's not helping them. She did get the kill one too. I think we already knew that, but still. I'm always, I'm always happy when England gets a wonder. Uh, ooh, hello. Hello. Nukes, let's do it. Let's do it. I want to see the AI. We're going to watch this time. We're not going to miss it. We're not going to miss it. Now, here's the thing. Scotland doesn't like a lot of people, too. So there is potential for nukes. There is potential for nukes. I don't think... Like, I don't think any of the guys who are too far behind, I don't think they're going to be able to pop off the nukes. Like, they're too far behind, I think, to actually get the nuclear technology and actually build the nukes for the war. So, it's either going to have to be Scotland or Samaria. Although, Samaria's been pretty peaceful here recently. Eh, he's been at war. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That being said, he's been popping out uh, um, this stuff. And since he's popping out the rockets, I don't see him going for nukes. But we'll see. We'll see. Three turns. Three turns. So, what we need to watch for is Scotland declaring war on someone. And, obviously, we need to watch for the nuke. And that is turned on, correct? That is turned on. Built. Unleashed. Alright. We're gonna wanna keep an eye on it. If I miss it, you guys gotta tell me. I'm gonna save. I gotta remember to save at the end of this episode, too. So we can pop back in and I can look at the save. Because, you know, I could go back to the previous save, but then I have to run the game. The game may play out differently. They might decide not to build nukes this time. You know, blah, 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 blah. So, alright. So the nukes are done. Unless he switched. By the way, he's building subs here where the arsenal is dang <laughs> uh you don't really need that many subs but congrats mm, last age here yeah atomic era shock is going to end in the dark age uh robert the bruce and alexander are going to end up in a normal age and then golden age for everyone else so that's back-to-back -back golden ages for gilgamesh dang dude dang dude that's hard that's hard i wonder why what did he do recruit great people perhaps he is making quite a few great people. How is... Well, we could actually look here on the score. What's his great people? 60. Yeah. Not as well as Scotland. Who ended up in the normal age. So I don't know. I don't know how he's getting all these points. Samaria ended up getting the habitation. Cool. So he is two-thirds of the way... Or rather, one-third of the way there. Well, okay. Technically, what? Four-sixths? One, two... Well, three... Uh, Three-fifths. He still has two more techs to research and then two more rockets to shoot off. Uh, he still has two more techs and three more rockets. So Scotland's definitely further behind right now. Uh, how's the religious looking? Oi, it got worse for Galverman. It got worse. Dang. Man, he was so close a couple episodes ago. I really thought we had an early one. Oh, we just saw it. What was that? What was that? I saw that. Hold up. Hold up. I saw something get shot. Was that a rocket? I swear I just saw something get shot into the sky. But it wasn't a nuke because he's not at war with anyone. And there's no way England has nukes. And she's not at war with anyone either. Dang. Also, there's no rocket site here. I swear I saw a whoosh go up in the air. Hmm. Well, building a lot of nukes. And then they're also working on Operation Ivy over here. So... <laughs> Uh, don't war Scotland right now, AI. Just FYI, here's a warning, like, England. Just, 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 just don't war. Just don't war. 
Lots of troops hanging out here. I love just like seeing uh, territory just absolutely like just all these enemy uh, troops just in their territory. Fortunately, they're not really able to do much. Kumasi still hasn't fallen. They've gotten him down about halfway. So England's working on the Eiffel Tower, you know, just like normal. Just like, you know, Samaria building the uh, Sydney Opera House. <laughs> Pretty typical, 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 typical. He is not working on nukes himself. Does he not have the tech for the last two rockets? He still doesn't have the tech. Dang it, game. Uh, Scotland actually has double tech now. Mm-hmm. So if Scotland ever decides to stop shooting off nukes or building nukes and start working on rockets, they might be able to finish um, at least two-thirds, like get two-thirds of the way there. Where's his rocket sites right now? I think there was one here. Right? Actually, does he even have spaceports? I don't see spaceports. There's one right here. What? Why, though? Oh, it's actually for you. Huh. Okay. Gilgamesh got to see the Opera House. I'm wondering why you're building the stadium and not the rockets. Uh, is that the only spaceport? I think that's the only spaceport we can see right now. Huh. That's going to make it harder for him to catch up from behind, then. Mm-hmm. Because he's only going to be able to shoot off one at a time. And, it, I mean, there's no other spaceport, so... Unless there was one up here. We didn't really look over here. I don't see one over here. So Gilgamesh... Gilgamesh had one or two, right? He's building the Estadio, and this is actually in his... Because uh, this is where he had the spaceport. Was in this particular city. I don't see his spaceports either. Why am I having so much trouble seeing these spaceports? Oh, you know what I was also going to do? No, it wasn't W. What is... I was going to turn off... So I had some people request that we turn off uh, the yield icons. Um, and I know early game yield icons are super, super important and a lot of people love it. I think a good balance would be to turn them off as we get to the end of the game. Just because they do make it a little busy and it makes it a little bit cleaner to see. And really, honestly, yields at this point don't really make that huge of a difference. So I'm I'm kind of open for like mob mentality here. If I, for me, I, it's either way. I usually don't look at them, but they also don't really bug me. Um, I know some people have mentioned that it bugs them like game and just like too much to look at. So, you know, if more of you guys want to see it, uh, versus not, then I will totally um, leave them on. I mean, it definitely is a little easier to see the districts and stuff. Oh, yeah, now we can see the rocket districts. It's a little easier to see stuff without the yield icon. So that's where I kind of leave it for you guys. Khmer conquered Lost City. Uh, Kumasi actually flipped. So he ended up conquering it and then um, releasing it. Congratulations. Oh, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting him um, to get that. You're still, not, you're still not sending it off. You're still not sending it off. Uh, we're about halfway there. But I don't know if that's going to happen. And yeah, dang, dang, dang. He's gotten worse and worse and worse. So are we going to end up a score victory at this point? We might. We might. Cause especially Dario, because this is uh, in... Yeah, Yurik. So if, as long as he's building the uh, stadium, he's not sending off rockets. And I don't think we see any other spaceports. And once again, England declared war and Macedonia declared war on Samaria. Why did Macedonia declare war? Is Samaria kind of weak right now? What is your military at, Samaria? 799. Um, I mean, England's significantly more powerful. And they might end up conquering some of this. Yeah, the tanks. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But 109 against the tank corps? Yeah, nah. See, here's the problem. Samaria has modern armor, which is going to uh, give these humongous garrison defense strength numbers in all of their cities. Eiffel Tower got built by Alexander. He snuck it out. I wonder if someone else might start getting some spaceports. Maybe. Maybe. Are you? You're working on more nuclear subs. See, his spaceport right now, he's doing... Oh, actually, no. It was uh, Edinburgh. No, sorry. Crap. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. <laughs> That's where he's supposed to be shooting the rockets off. Now he's building a hangar. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You have, like, two rockets you can shoot off right now. Yeah, he has two different rockets he can shoot off right now. And now he's building the Estadio. He's got a ways to go, though, and I think Samaria's going to be able to get it first. Yeah. Now, the question is, is he going to catch up? Nah, eh, probably not. Probably not. Hey, okay, we got the Mars Reactor going, and we got Operation Ivy. I still don't think we've seen any nukes being shot. You guys might have to correct me on this, but I'm pretty sure we don't see any nukes. I don't, here's the big thing. I don't see nuclear fallout. And it looks like he just started, yep, he started another one. So, Samaria is about to be 
one rocket away. So I feel as if they're probably set for the victor right now. He still needs one more tech though, right? Nope, he has all the techs. So as soon as this is done, or this is done, he's probably gonna start building that last one. So we're getting really, really close. So unless Scotland all of a sudden gets another ace port up, I think it's gonna be a Samaria win. Unless of course they get pillaged. Uh, what is your Estadio at? 13 turns? We're probably closer here, right? Seven turns, yeah, yeah, yeah. How goes the wars? Eh, eh. Alexander looks like completely decimated. <laughs> I don't see any troops for Alexander. Never a good sign. No, he's at like 200. Yeah, he's got like an infantry. He's got an infantry and he's got uh, probably just some ships. That's about it. Uh, I think he got completely destroyed right now by the space, uh, by the um, 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 Air Force from Samaria. Zulu's looking a little more scary, but I don't know if they're still at war. Where well, he is, but. And religion game is the exact same way. So it pretty much stabilized then at a certain point. And I don't really see a lot of Yavarman apostles. You know what might have also happened here is with these wars with uh, Zulu, he might have gotten a lot of his dudes um, murdered by Zulu. So that was a potential too. Rocket artillery's here. Knocked out the um, encampment district, but still got a ways to go before he gets the city. And that's another city state, by the way. Uh, uh, nuclear devices are popping out. We could see some nukes going here, potentially. He's got nine turns left. We might see a nuke. So Samaria has got nine turns before we win the game. There might be a nuke, because this is going to finish first. So he might shoot it off. Now, how would he shoot it off, though, is the question. Do we have any rocket sites? I don't see any rocket sites. Does he have nuclear subs? Not that I see. So, it would have to be a bomber, but right now he has no airplanes. Unless these numbers might not, um, maybe aren't represented. And actually, here's a nuke right here. Yeah, I don't know if these numbers actually show up proper. Uh, I know with our previous autoplay they didn't, so... I hear planes, though. I hear planes. I would love to see you nuke. Come on, AI. I believe that you can nuke. I believe that you can nuke. So, I love that Samaria is probably doing really good culturally, too. Yeah, they're... Pff, they're probably going to win the culture game if we kept this going long enough. Six turns left. Come on, you have these nukes, dude. Don't be a wuss. Drop them. Make the world fear you. Everyone already hates you, man. I heard that I heard that they called you smelly, so you should just totally go punish them. Nine turns. Uh, we got six turns here left in the game. Uh, last wonder was the Estadio Gilgamesh. Cool. Did he catch up? Did he catch up? No. So he's going to take over the first place slot. Cool. And Atusa should probably flip then. Like Alexander right now. Uh, you know what? I bet. I bet he's peaced with Alexander. No, he's not. So go punish Alexander, man. Go punish him. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Atusa's probably going to get flipped here. And there's a nuclear sub as well. Ah, there we go. So he ended up freeing uh, Atusa. Okay. That still is no nukes. There's still no nukes. So, in the scheme of things, we've seen Samaria probably free more city-states than anyone, which is just great. Just great. I also love the Khmer troops just hanging out over here. Also, Valletta got flipped. Or just flipped, actually. Went to neutral. I wonder, can it go back to a city-state? That would be great. I don't think it could. I think it would have to flip to uh, Gilgamesh, and then Gilgamesh would have to release it. Wait, I thought the Atomic Arrow was the last one. Oh, it's the Information Age. Durr. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's one more arrow. We'll see how everyone's shaped up. It doesn't look like anyone's going to use their nukes. This is so depressing. My gosh, Scotland. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. That's one way to use a lot of money. Samaria conquered... Odini. Oh, up here. Yeah, that's one way. So, now it technically is going to end with England, uh, Scotland, Alexander, Gilgamesh, Shaka all in Dark Ages, and then uh, Khmer in a gold, uh, Normal Age, which is kind of hilarious. Congratulations, Khmer. You ended the game at least in a Golden Age. Uh, but here comes the end. Yep, there you go. No nukes. No nukes, man. No nukes. So Samaria is going to take first place, and um, uh, uh, Scotland then is also going to move through as well, being uh, that they were in first place uh, when the game ended. Let's see, or at least they were top in score when the game ended. 
How close were they? They still had a couple left. Culture still didn't happen. And we never saw these nukes. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap this up. I'm still going just a couple more turns because I really want to see the AI nuke someone. I really, really want to see it. I really want to see it. Come on, Samaria. Uh, I don't think they're going to do it. We can't even, like, declare war and stuff like that. I don't know. It's not like we have a city for him to actually nuke us in. But, man. Man. Let's go, like, one more turn and then we'll wrap it up. So... Um, good win for Samaria. Samaria usually is under, uh, usually doesn't play super well. And part of it is because they tend to be super friendly with their neighbors, which allows them, or basically kind of keeps them from conquering. And I think this game worked out just a little bit different. What was his two agendas? He likes the science, and then, yeah, he still likes the alliance. So he ended up basically at war with Alexander instead of friending Alexander early game, which made him a little more aggressive and then allowed him just to do some conquering and stuff like that. Congratulations, Alexander. You're shooting off the first rocket. You got a ways to go, though. So, uh, who was in then third? Yaverman did end up coming up and taking that third place. I don't think that religious victory was going to happen. Nah, just doesn't look like it. It's unfortunate. And doesn't look like the nukes are going to happen either. So, all right. Well, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you, everyone who watched these knockout rounds. We will be back tomorrow. Uh, sorry. Sorry, group stage and second chance rounds. We're going to be back tomorrow with the knockout rounds. So we're going to take all the sizz. We're going to split them up and basically going to start trimming everyone down until we get to, I think, eight. And then we're going to do our finals. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.